and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. of our generosity. We're only going to take half your crops. Half? But you can't. We need... Shh. We better let them have what they want. Just to be sure there's no trouble, no one is to leave the village. I've got to get help. Everything will be fine as long as you do what I say. Ah! That one's not trying out for the track team! Go after her. Yes! Well, it's obviously a campground our ancestors used thousands of years ago. Campground? Well, let's camp. M my feet are killing me. I'll make a note of the location. Ooh, this area is so remote, we might not find it again. But me, I I'll locate it on my special map. Now, let's see. This is north, or is it south? Well, it's got to be one of those, doesn't it? Help! Help! Someone's in trouble. <laughs> See what's going on, Adam. You stay here. All right, Tila. Adam will stay right here. G good idea. But I get the feeling that he man won't. Well, come on. It wasn't a very loud call for help. Loud enough, Cringer. By the power of Grey Skull. <laughs> Let's go, cat. Hey, wait for me! Uh, uh, on second thought, I'll just wait here. Permavine, cat. You shouldn't have left the village. What's this? What are you doing here, He-Man? I heard a call for help, didn't you?
You just don't know when to quit, do you? Careful not to rock the boat. trouble with space pirates before. Then you'll help? Try and stop us. But I wish He-Man hadn't gone. I got a feeling he isn't all that far away. Well, <clears throat> uh, this time, I'm going along with you, Tila. All right, Adam. Orko, I want you to get back to the palace. What? Miss all the fun? I'll go. go, go. I don't mind missing that kind of fun. Stick around, Cringer. You might be needed. That's what I'm afraid of. Go ahead, Orko. Someone has to tell Man-at-Arms to bring the guards. Now this time we'll take care of all these space pirates once and for all. But you said you'd only take half our crop. We changed our minds. But we won't have any food. Too bad. We will. <laughs> We've got to do something. Not me. Don't make waves, that's what I say. It looks to me like you're trying to get away with something. Where are you going with that cart? Who wants to know? I knew I should have gone with Orko. Rose, who are these people? They're friends, Father. They just saved my life. Get rid of those landlubbers. Yeah, 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 that's what I'll do. Oh, sorry. Here, look at that great sword. My sword. They call me Sticky Fingers. Got him. What? I can't move. What is this stuff? <clears throat> it's it's tar. This is worse than stepping in Orko's bubble gum. Yeah! <laughs> There's no use struggling. My special tar can hold an army. If I can only get to my sword. Taking all our crops. Adam and Teela are the only ones who tried to stop them. And now they're in jail. Rose, where are you going? They're my friends. I'm going to help them escape. Wait. Don't try to stop me, Father. Stop you? I'm going with you. They're my friends, too. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here. I, 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 Stand it, I tell you. Cringer, we've only been here 15 minutes. I wonder where He-Man is. If I don't find my sword, He-Man won't ever be around anymore. Hello there. What? I brought the prisoners food. Would you like to try some? Adam, look! Harrow. Shh. This used to be a warehouse. The old storage cellars are below here. Come on. Gladly. <laughs> What's that? Aren't you even going to try my dessert? <laughs> hey, wait for me! You let them escape. Ah, mangy oaf! I couldn't help it. I was busy. Well, that leaves only one thing to do. Since you fools can't do your jobs, I got you that sword, didn't I? Big deal! Turn the tracker loose. The... the... the, the tracker? Ah, yeah, yeah, the tracker! He'll find those troublemakers. They won't find us here. The pirates have already looted this place. Then hopefully they won't be back. Maybe I can talk to the villagers, convince them to stand up to the pirates. They're good people, but they're afraid. 
I think I hear something nasty coming this way. Look. It must be tracking us. I think it's found us. Give me a hand, Harold. Let me help, too. Yeah, well, what I'll do is hide. <laughs> I doubt this will keep that beast off. <laughs> From it with that nose, it can sniff out anything. Maybe it's a good thing it sniffed us out here. You've got to be kidding. No, I know you're kidding. Hey, old buddy, let's give it something to really sniff at. A little of this spice should do the trick. <laughs> Well, I'd say that takes care of him. I can't believe that no one will do anything about the pirates. They say there's nothing we can do. I've got to find my sword. There are more important things than your sword, Adam. That's what she thinks. Cringer, I'm afraid it's going to be up to you to find my sword. Me? Tila and I have something to take care of here. But that pirate took it. You don't have to do anything, Cringer. Just find out where it is now. Well, if you if you say so. But, but, but I wish you, you hadn't said so. You can deal with these pirates. All you need is a little courage and to work together. But I couldn't stop the pirates from taking my crops. And they took my whole catch. That's because each of you was alone. Look at it this way. Everyone is able to do at least one thing well. What we have to do is put them all together. Well, what do you have in mind? I have an idea that just might get rid of Sticky Fingers and his friends. Hurry up over there. We can't stay on this goody-goody planet forever. Ah, I know what you mean. Ah, all this niceness. Huh? Stop that. Huh? Those villagers will pay for defying us. Tell the men to hurry it up. He, he doesn't have Adam's sword. Ooh, now what do I do? to work, Adam. Don't worry about a thing. It'll work. I hope. No, we've got all their food. Ah! Unless they're holding out on us! Ah! Tell the men to search the village. Don't leave a crumb behind. He doesn't have the sword either. Nobody has the sword except... Sticky fingers. The pirates are coming. Then this is it. Everyone knows what to do. Let's go. Remember what Sticky Fingers said. Take all their food. Every last crumb. There's more.
Where is everybody? And I'd better make use of it right now. By the power of Grey Skull. Let's help the villagers mop up the rest of those pirates. They're coming! Load them up! Fire! Bullseye! Ah, I can't see. Uh, I can't see. Turn left! Left! I said left, you swap! I always did get those two mixed up. Help! I've got to save those kids. Wow! He-Man saved us! Let's get out of here. Going somewhere, fellas? Not him again. You should have a barrel of fun with this. Now for their leader. Just the man I wanted to see. <laughs> he man, looking for your motley crew, sticky fingers? They seem to be busy elsewhere. <laughs> I don't need them to get at you. <laughs> ah, you guys, I'm going to stick around for a long time. Ah! Not as long as you think. You got here after all. I did take a while, but now Sticky Fingers is trying to escape with all the village food. Let's go, cat. about him and his men anymore. I'll see that they're brought to justice. Oh, I'm just an innocent bystander. Oh. We all want to thank you. For what you've done for us. It's what you did for yourselves that matters. Once you got together, worked together, you got the job done. Too bad I wasn't here. With my magic, I could have made this miserable pirate disappear. Eeny, meeny, to and fro. Now I'll make the pirate call. Or goes dope. Sorry, man in arms. <laughs> Orko, if I were you, I think I'd make myself disappear. I, I think you're right. Uh, so long, everybody. <laughs> 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 Today's story was about cooperation, working together to get a job done. Have you ever tried to lift something heavy? With help from a friend or two, the job becomes easier. 
If we offer to help someone with his or her job, that person might be willing to help us when we have a tough job to do. That's how people cooperate, by helping each other to get things done. Why, a job that's dull and boring can be fun with a friend's help. Give it a try. Until next time, bye-bye. And the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. This new dam borders the mighty Eternian Ocean, providing us with the rich farmland that we need to feed the kingdom. If there is one man whom we all need to thank for the hard work, skill, and vision that made this engineering miracle possible, I give you your friend and mine, Man at Arms! <laughs> speech, Duncan, speech! Come on, Cringer, let's go play in the water. But I don't like water. Well, there may be some fish. Fish? Wait a minute. We went the wrong direction. Orko! What, 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 whatever you do, that, that don't move. I can't. I'm, 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 I'm frozen with fear. <laughs> Plenty of time to fool around later, Cringer. Let's hear the end of King Randor's speech. And so it gives me great pleasure to dedicate the great Eternian Dam. Come, Duncan, now we have to deal with the bad news. This new dam is all very well, but now there's no place for the children to play. And the wildlife park has been closed. So there's no room for us animals to play either. I'm sure my father understands, but something big has come up. I have to see him right away. <laughs> I'm afraid that makes the fifth food transport we've lost on the Eternian Ocean in the last month. There must have been wreckage, survivors, distress signals. Nothing at all was ever found. Ships don't just disappear. Could the disappearances be due to storms? They must have been sucked underwater. <laughs> well, something happened to them in this area here. I flew right out to that little volcanic island. It was blue skies all the way. What little volcanic island? Oh, the one about halfway between here and the new dam. Never mind about the island. Where are those ships? But, Father, there is no island in that area. Not an island that just appears is impossible. So are the ships that disappear, Adam. You better fly over it again. Oh. 
There's a red light! We're, we're going to crash! We're not going to crash, Cringer. My new invention is guiding us along the exact same flight path Buzz Off took to the island last time. Time to target coordinates. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Over target now. Oh, we're too low! Adam, I tell you, there was an island there. I believe you, Duncan. If whole ships can disappear, why not an island? Let me fly over the new dam. I need the practice. Let's just hope that hasn't disappeared as well. Let's hope we can go slower. It's incredible to think that the entire Eternian Ocean is on the other side. Be careful, Adam. <laughs> sure clears the cobwebs out of your mind. Look out! That was close. That's the island Buzz Off saw. The engines have been damaged by the collision. Going down. Get ready to jump. Duncan, Cringer, are you all right? Oh, no. Duncan and Cringer are being sucked into the dam's water intake. By the power of Grayskull! Off. Am I glad to see you? You can say that again. The palace had a crazy report, but an island was drifting toward the dam. I had to check it out. Me too. Are you all right? Oh, I didn't want to get to the ground this quick. Welcome to the mysterious floating island. Wait here while I get Tila. I just don't believe this. Our ships are disappearing along with the food supplies for Eternia, and you're sunbathing. Where is he, man? He'll be back if we need him, but we're here to check out the island ourselves. There may be some clues as to what's going on. Look, let's get organized. Father, you take Adam, Cringer, and Orko and explore the ground. Oh, boy! An adventure! We'll take my Wind Raider and find out what we can see from the air. This is fantastic! And take a look at this! There's something behind the waterfall. Looks like a cave, Duncan. Oh boy, oh boy, let's go! I don't want anything more to do with water. You stay here, Cringer, and make sure Arco doesn't get into trouble. I have a bad feeling about this. Duncan, there's something in the cave. There's some kind of sign. Let's hope it's something that can help us. Hello, chumps. Who would put a sign like that there? We're being swept into the cave. By the power of the... I, 
Are you all right? Yes, but I've lost my sword. Look, Duncan, look! It's a huge underground lake. But whose? Duncan, over there. The missing food ships. Yeah, they're safe, but how did they get here? I have a bad feeling about this. Well, well, if it isn't Prince Adam and Man at Arms. You're pretty deep in this one, gentlemen. <laughs> That's a good one, Skeletor. <laughs> <laughs> Enough joking, you fishy fools. Find our two guests a nice, damp dungeon. It is only right that the Prince of Eternia should see my final triumph. <laughs> I've heard that before. Ah, uh, but everybody has to eat. And this time I have captured all your food. The new dam has created the land to grow more food than even you can capture. Yes, the Great Italian Dam. But when my little island crashes into your dam... The ocean will flood half the kingdom. Skeletor, even you couldn't be that cruel. Ah, but I can! With all the food ships captured here, the people of Eternia will have to acknowledge me as master. <laughs> You're brilliant, boss. <laughs> Hey, I was going to say that. <laughs> Keep your fins to yourself. <laughs> I have to be brilliant just to make up for them. I hate to say it, Adam, but this time Skeletor's plan seems pretty good. And without the power sword, I can't become He-Man. <laughs> But first, we have to find out what happened to Adam and Duncan. I'll check the waterfall. Maybe that trap door is still open. <laughs> no luck there. It's sealed off tighter than a clam. We must find another way down. The place is filled with caves. Spread out and search. This is becoming a wonderful day for evil. Soon I shall have Teela buzz off and that silly little bag of wind all in my power. <laughs> I'll give you both something to snicker at if you don't get up to the surface and capture those do-gooders. Well, what are you waiting for? Hmm, no tunnels yet. What was that? Boy, I'm getting jumpy. There's nothing out there. Boy, jungles sure are scary when you're on your own. Ooh, that's funny. Can't be night already. Uh-oh. Whoa there, Arco! It's only me! Don't do that! This place is spooky enough. We better go make sure Tila is all right. I don't like this. It's too quiet. bad feeling something is going to happen. <laughs> Cringer! I, I was only trying to get some sleep. It was such a nice deep hole, too. A hole? Could be the way down we've been looking for. I'll check it out. I'm so glad you're all here. This is what we've been looking for. Okay, let's get down there. You're joking. It's, it's so dark. Yeah, well, you can stay up here. They're escaping from us. 
No! They're just using one of their ventilation ducts to reach the underground base. <sighs> and with Skeletor below, <sighs> and us above... That's right! They're trapped! If you step on my tail one more time... That stupid tail is getting in the way! Let me go first! Following your fishy smell will destroy my sensitive nose. <laughs> oh, stop whining! Ha! Looks like we hit pay dirt. It's the engine room! This is what gives the island power to move around! Wow! They're using the volcano as a smokestack! Heights, even when I'm on the ground. This is no time for playing around, Cringer. We have to find Adam and Man at Arms. I wonder where they are. This place is huge. It's going to take us forever to find them. My mouth gets so dry when I'm scared. I miss Adam so much. I'm, I'm be be beginning to see visions of him. Huh? It is them! It, 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 it really is! That bubble is being kept down there by that chain. I have to cut it. Thanks, Gringer. And thanks to you, Tila. Now let's get out of here fast. Hey, look what I found, Adam. Your sword! First thing we need to do is to release the food ships, then get reinforcements to round up Skeletor and his crew. Not so fast! You have already lost. This key will start the main engines driving my island straight through your precious dam. No, Skeletor. You'll create a wasteland out of Eternia. It will be my victory! <sighs> and our freeze rays will slow you down. <laughs> I'm getting out of here! Good. No one can see me. By the power of Greyskull! We have to stop this engine before it drives the island into the dam. Skeletor has the key! Right. So let's get him. Okay, Skeletor, you've had your fun. Give me the key. Now there's no way to stop the engine. Must stop that engine. Only one thing for it. Hey, everyone, let's get out of here. It's going to blow. You know Adam. Yeah, somehow Adam always seems to get out of the tight spots. At least you bumbling fools are good for something. 
Mush! Mush! Well, we cannot have a floating island paradise just drifting around the Eternian Ocean. I have an idea. Well, the dam covered up all the land needed by the wildlife reserve. So, the island can be a nature reserve and vacation camp for the children of Eternia. Oh boy, Granger, we'll be able to play hide and seek, and you'll be able to pretend you're a brave cat, stalking huge, large, terrible animals. Oh, oh, uh, rather small, not, 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 not very dangerous ones, please. <laughs> <laughs> At last, a national park for all the people of Eternia. Hooray! jogging along this meadow. So do I. It's too bad every place in Eternia can't stay as natural and untouched as this place is. You're right. But progress does force changes. And sometimes those changes mean we have to take down trees in order to put up buildings. That's why it's important to set aside some places to remain natural, where children can play and where we can all enjoy the wonders of nature. The Masters of the Universe! I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and Defender of the Secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty Battle Cat, and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together, we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. The weather station's ice radar. What? Well, the more the merrier. Faster than the eye can follow. <laughs> Someone's trying to steal the ice radar. <laughs> Fault she got through. Why? Well, I think we need a little help here. What's up, Orko? Uh, not up. Down. Look. Come on, Cringer, we've got to save Philip. What do you mean, we? I, I, I'm getting out of here. By the power of Grey Sky. Ah, mind your manners, Whiplash. <sighs> How about a polite introduction to this? Let's keep things neat. This belongs here. And you belong where you can't make any more trouble. Bye-bye, Whiplash. Have a nice trip. 
and don't give our regards to Skeletor. And what's more, Philip neglected to call the guard. Why, Philip, you know what you're supposed to do when there's danger. I was going to call them, but I just didn't have time. And I wasn't near the alarm button, and... Why doesn't he just own up? Why doesn't he just stop making all these excuses? So you made a mistake. Why didn't you tell him what happened? I don't know what you're talking about. They should call you Wimp Lash. Ah, just give me another chance to get my claws on that Ice Raider. Quiet, or I'll turn you into a suitcase. I agree with you, Tila. Philip has to learn to accept responsibility. I'm going to transfer you, Philip, up to the top of the world to help guard the weather station. But that's for losers. I don't want to go. <laughs> They're playing right into my hands. He'll have to use the Ice Raider. Icer, where are you? Here. Where else would I be? I still can't get through that protective screen to the weather station. You will be able to now. The fools are sending a new guardsman. When he lowers the screen to go in, that's your chance. The weather station is where we control the climate for all of Eternia. And I'm being exiled up there? It's not fair. Well, that's not true, Philip. It's an important post and a good place to learn responsibility. When you see the protective screen around the weather station, pull this lever to deactivate it. Don't pull it until the last second and release it as soon as you're through the screen. Philip, are you listening? What? Oh, sure, sure. Today I can get through on my own. I'd better test it. Maybe it's not working. And then again, maybe it is. Five, four, three, two, one. Forgot. Finally, I'm on the inside. Now we'll make some real weather. Whoa. It's your job to check the building. The doors are sealed against the weather. Make sure they're all locked tightly. Here's your freeze rod. Use it to stop any intruder. Any questions? This is simple enough. Hey, it's not so cold out there. station. Look at the size of that glacier. It's getting larger every hour. And coming toward us. You'll have to fly up there and see what's wrong, Tila. She can't. Whatever has caused this weather has filled the atmosphere with negative ions. There's no communication and nothing can fly. In that case, I'll go check out the attack track. You don't have to go with me, Adam. Good. It's c c cold up there. Then you'd better pack your earmuffs, Cringer. We're leaving right away. They're running from the glacier. 
glacier. That's another reason we've got to turn back the glacier before it destroys all the animals' homes. Hey, wait up! I, I got bad news up there. Somehow, I don't think those trolls are a welcoming committee. We'll have to send the attack track back and go up the glacier on foot. But first, we've got to get past those trolls. I don't think that drat likes me. I'll go see if we can get around them. Come on, Granger. Adam, wait! Oh, never mind. I'll have to do this myself. By the power of Grey Skull! <laughs> Margadorn Sagarta! I think that means no dice. Why don't you take care of that draft, cat? So, that's the way you want to play, huh? <laughs> well, I guess I took care of that. And I'm going to take care of those trolls. Not if I use my patented bank shot. Thanks, He-Man. What are you doing here? You're having trouble with the weather station, aren't you? Yes. Adam's off looking for another way to go. Well, we'd better not wait for him. What about the trolls? By the time they figure out how to get out of there, we'll be long gone. How are we going to get through? Nothing can penetrate the protective screen. Orko, don't! I think there's a better way. My sword can absorb the energy. I was very careful to... That's enough, Philip. So it's Icer we're up against. That means Skeletor's behind this. Well, what else is new? I'll go see if there's any other way to get inside. We'll have to find Icer and stop him. You help Tila. I'll see about getting us in there. I can't find her! Hmm, weather manual, how to make spring showers, tornadoes to order, hmm, the temperature in ancient sub-levels must never drop below the blue line on the thermometer, see footnote, because it would wake the great caterchillers frozen into the ice below. The great caterchiller? Oh boy. <coughs> he man! He man? Uh, where'd everybody go to? <laughs> Yikes! Taylor. Tila! 
Battle Cat's found something. Isa must have done it. Now I got news. What's up? We've got to get Tila out of there. Stand back. I've got to find a place where there's a crack. Uh, here's one. Now to hit it just right. Thanks. It was cold in there. Where is Icer? Mm, he'll turn up. We can count on that. Never mind him now. We've got to find the sub-levels below us, closer to the center of Eternia. Spread out and look for the way down. Oh, my, I forgot to tell He-Man about the Great Caterchiller. Phew, at least it's still asleep. Correction, it used to be... Long fella, uh, aren't you? <laughs> it's been nice talking to you, but uh, I gotta. Uh -oh. I'm getting nowhere fast. <laughs> to be the butterfly, not me. You do hang out in the strangest places, Orko. Oh no, you're not going to rope me in. <laughs> oh, I hate to see you get all strung up. <laughs> That caterchiller's not mean, you've just disturbed his sleep. Time for your beauty nap. When you wake up, you'll be a gorgeous butterfly. Hey, I found the way down. Icer should be guarding these steps. He must be around. He's in the wall. Now, if we could just keep him there. Orko, do you have your perma powder along? I sure do. I'll perma powder him right where he is. He won't be going anywhere. Good. You take care of that, then free Philip. I've got to get to the heat source. Let's see. I, I think pink must be for perma. Uh, now, that'll take care of Icer. I think green is for go, so here goes Philip. Uh-oh. You get them mixed up. Don't just stand there. Come on. It was sure cold there. Thanks, Uncle. This is as far as we can go. Well, the good news is that Philip's free. The bad news is, so is Icer. How did that happen? Oh, I goofed the powders. It was all my fault. We'll talk about that later. Now we've got to get to the center of Eternia and bring in some heat. What are you telling them that for? If you let people know you made a mistake, they won't like you. Boy, if that were true, I wouldn't have a friend in the world. And I'm a very popular fellow. <laughs> Better go ahead, He-Man. I'll hold him off. I am going to stop He-Man cold. That's what you think, you base. <coughs> Don't touch him, Battle Cat. You'll freeze. <coughs> Here, Captain.
I see icers running in more ways than one. <laughs> <laughs> the heat melted the ice in the control room. The guards were all right, and we were able to adjust the weather controls. I want to thank you all for saving Etania. But how did this happen in the first place? It was all my fault, Your Majesty. If it hadn't been for me, Isa would have never gotten in there. It looks as though you've learned to take responsibility, Philip. Hey, you took the blame. Aren't you afraid they won't like you? Not a chance. I saw you take the blame, and you're a very popular fellow. As for you, Adam... Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Where were you when I... He's never around when I need him. But you have to admit, it's nice when he is around, isn't it? Yes, it is. But don't you dare tell him I said so. <laughs> <laughs> well, how are things going at the weather station, Philip? Well, it's lots of work and plenty of responsibility. But you know, part of growing up is learning how to be a responsible person. That's for sure. Whether a job is big or small, it's nice when you know that you're the kind of person people can depend upon to get the job done. That's right, Tila. Being responsible means you can be depended upon, and that's a big step toward becoming a winner. 